Hey everybody, welcome and thank you for watching my tutorial. If you like what you see, please be sure to like and subscribe in the link below. You can also check out some of my other videos where I talk about all the ins and outs of drawing plumbing pipe work. As we know, that's not always the easiest. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a connected pipe network using a Revit a 2018 version but as I've mentioned in my other videos it really doesn't change drastically between the versions once you learn one you kind of um, learn the others as well so without further ado let's get started the first step you always want to do before you begin any work in Revit is you want to ensure you're working in the correct work set now chances are you work for a multidisciplinary company and they'll have multiple work sets to enable different controls between the services such as fire, hydraulics, electrical and mechanical. In this project we don't really have a work set because we're not collaborating with anyone else, it's just us. But you can find the work set selection drop down right here where I'm circling my mouse. Alright, let's get started. So to start off with drawing a pipe, I really want to use my keyboard shortcut and that is PI. Now you can see the crosshairs show up. You can see here pipe type standard is selected, see our diameters and we also see this um, toolbox up here where we have different selections. So that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is just by going to your systems tab and clicking on the pipe and again you see the same menu all right next step you want to do is ensure that you're selecting the correct pipe material so here we want to draw some sanitary pipe work and as you can see we've got our pvc sanitary here so we just go ahead and select it i want my pipe to be a hundred diameter pipe because we're going to be taking our run off the first toilet pan and i'll select a hundred sized pipe the next thing I'll do is look here in our properties tab and ensure that I'm drawing my pipe starting it at the right level. So I know my reference level is level 2. My fixtures are located on level 2. So I probably just want to start at about 0. We can always come back and adjust that offset level a bit later. But that just means we're starting our pipe offset 0 from level 2. So exactly at level 2. Next thing I want to change is my system type so default was hyd hydronic supply which is obviously refers to mechanical but I really want to be drawing sanitary as mentioned and that should be it for my settings so I'll click apply show that I'm happy with it and I'll go to my first fixture here and I'll click where I want to begin my pipe run pipe shows up click again on point where I want to oh okay that's an error that's trying to connect it to our pipe no worries I'll start off my run a bit further away from my fixture then you can notice I haven't put any slope to this pipe so this pipe is flat I know in actual reality the sanitary pipe work is gonna be sloped to ensure that gravity does its work and um, waste pipe does move to its desired location but for the purpose of this video um, there will be no slope added you can Watch my other videos to see how we can add slope to our pipe work. Alright, so to continue, click on the location where I want my bend. That time it worked. Have my 45 degree bend. A sanitary pipe work always has 45 degree bends. And I will extend it to this arbitrary location here. Imagine that our riser that we're connecting into will be located somewhere in this cupboard. I click again there and I can clip escape to get out of there. All right, now in drawing the second branch that serves our second fixture, I can go to our pipe and again, either a short keyboard shortcut, select CS, which stands for create similar. And again, that brings out a pipe, but because we created similar, it inherently takes the characteristics of the pipe we're creating from. So you can see it's a hundred mil pipe. It's a PVC sanitary and yeah, it's offset zero from 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 our level two reference. So all the characteristics we chose from this pipe, and that's very helpful because we don't have to go through those selections again. 
again if you don't want to use keyboard shortcut you can just click on the pipe then right click and click on the create similar button again same thing same characteristics now if I want to join the second branch of my main run I want to go to inherit <coughs> inherit elevation that just ensures that we're starting our pipe at the same elevation as this which makes it easy to draw our um, fitting and so I click you can see it's highlighted yellow here meaning that I am selecting my pipe so I click there again 45 degree bend click again where I want to bend and I will end my pipe there and boom you have a second branch connected for you right there we'll do one more branch just for illustration purposes to one of these basin fixtures so the process is click on your pipe create similar or CS on your keyboard select that ensure that your pipe is highlighted or you can see the blue reference that lets you know that you are indicating where you want to join that pipe inherit elevation to ensure that we're starting at the same offset and draw 45 degree and again they are horizontal pipe and escape to get out now I won't get into too much detail in terms of connecting this pipe into your fixture because we rarely ever do it but in my next video I'll show you how to draw an indicative riser that rises from below the slab and connects to the fixture trap that should suffice for 95% of the applications. Again, thank you for watching my video. If you've enjoyed and liked what you've seen, please like and subscribe in the link below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers.